Now let's get to a blockbuster announcement that could shake up the way you watch sports. ESPN, Fox, and Warner Brothers Discovery just announced they are teaming up to launch a joint sports streaming service this fall. Now the platform doesn't have a name or a price yet, but the companies say it's going to include all the broadcasts and cable networks owned by Disney, Fox, and Warner Brothers Discovery that carry sports. Brian Stelter joins us now. He is a special correspondent for Vanity Fair, also the author of Hoax and Network of Lies. Brian, thank you so much for joining us this morning. So what do we know Thanks. about this streaming platform so far and what it's going to offer? Yeah, this is really the age of experimentation in cable and streaming and television. And this joint venture is the latest example. Everything's on the table. There are lots of options. These companies, these media giants, are trying to come up with new ways to bundle and unbundle and rebundle. And, and that's why I say it's the age of experimentation. This is one giant experiment to, to put ESPN and Fox's sports uh, brands and to put Warner Brothers Discovery's sports assets all in a bundle, but not in an exclusive way. You will still be able to access these games and these channels uh, in other ways through a traditional cable subscription, uh, through some streaming options. But what these companies are doing is that they're trying to uh, band together and figure out a way to serve hardcore sports fans. You know, that, that are, there's an audience of tens of millions of Americans who really, all they really truly want at the end of the day, they want basketball, they want football, they want soccer, they want hockey. And this is the kind of bundle that would really appeal to them. So we've seen more of this recently. You got Amazon with football on Thursday nights. We had the Peacock game a couple weeks ago. So how could this potentially reshape sports and the sports streaming yeah. landscape? Is this a sign that people are turning away from traditional cable to watch mm -hmm. sports? Or is it just a sign that we just have more cord cutters out there? I think it's a sign that instead of having one way to watch TV, if you think back 10, 20 years ago, there was really just one way to watch TV, right? Now, there's a dozen ways. There's a dozen ways to subscribe, and there's going to be more and more and more. It feels like every year we hear about even more experiments. Look at Apple Vision Pro, which is out this month, and imagine watching a game and feeling like you're actually in the arena. We're going to see more and more of these experiments, but these it's coming in part because these leagues, these sports leagues, these teams, these owners, they want more and more money for their games. So part of the backdrop for this uh, is the skyrocketing price uh, that's being charged by leagues like the NBA for rights to televise games. And, and honestly, that's the, the biggest challenge here to the business. How do, do, do these networks keep funding these huge bills to, play, to air these games? Brian, quickly, before we let you go, we've kind of seen these two things happen. First, streaming services struggle to find profitabil profitability, and then also this kind of streaming fatigue where people are sick of signing up for so many services. Do you think this is the beginning of sort of starting to see consolidation of rivals coming together? We only have a couple seconds, but just wondering your take on that. Everything old is new again. Everything new is old again. Yes, the rebundling is happening because the market's going to solve what are seen as failures, right? If things are too complicated, the market can solve that with this consolidation. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.